Hello Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2020. We're going to look at the person that you are currently in a connection with. Uh, what are they thinking, feeling about the connection? What are they doing right now? Uh, what are your mutual energies? What would they tell you if they had the chance? We're going to look at all of that in this reading. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to make two quick announcements. The first one is that I have a new Instagram. It's Interstellar Tarot 1111. So feel free to follow me there. And the second announcement is that I have lowered the price of the extended readings. So check that out if you're interested. All right, Aries. Let's get into it. Let's see. What is your person? What are their current energies? The person that you're thinking about. Spirit. What are the current energies for the person that Aries is thinking about or connecting with? What is this person's current energies, please? Current energies, please, for the person that Aries is thinking about at this time. April 2020, please. For Aries. Thank you, Spirit. That's just for Aries, please. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed. I read all of your comments. Um, I also want to say um, a special thank you to those of you who actually have taken the time to write me such sweet, supportive comments. Um, they help me a lot, um, whether you know it or not. So um, thank you for taking the time to do that. All right, Aries, we have strategy. That's the first card that came out here. Interesting. Strategy. Someone here is really focusing on details. I'm getting details. I'm getting planning. Your person could be planning something here. I want that one. Mountain. Okay, so there's an obstacle this person's trying to strategize around. Something in the way of their goal is what I'm getting here. Now, Aries, roles can be reversed. So I could be talking about you or this other person. I'm going to try not to confuse you because I do say someone a lot or the other person. I've gotten some comments about that. So I'll try to keep that in mind. It's just really hard because it can go both ways. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. What else for this person? What is this person thinking right now? What are they doing right now? What are the current energy spirit for the person that Aries is dealing with? Ah, oh, broken heart. Hmm. So this person is dealing with some sort of heartbreak or disappointment at this time. They're strategizing a way out of this. Wide open is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person is trying to be open-minded, trying to see what's out there. This reminds me a lot of the Three of Wands, um, waiting for a better opportunity. Very interesting. I feel like something has happened between you and this person where one of you is broken hearted. So this person could have broken your heart or disappointed you or vice versa. And regardless, this person is trying to strategize a way out of that. So let's see. What are this person's intentions or how do they view that you or this connection, Aries? How does this person view Aries or this connection spirit? How does this person view Aries or this connection spirit? Give us some insight, please, into what this person thinks or feels about Aries or this connection. For Aries, please. Moth. Okay, so someone here is drawn to you. I just heard um, captivated. So someone here is drawn to you like a moth to a flame, right? That's the phrase. I feel like they're very attracted to you. There's an attraction here, something special. Earthworm, okay, so this is like the newbie of the deck. This is someone who wants to um, start something new or is starting something new and doesn't really know that much about it. So they're like the newbie. Um, so this person, I feel like they want to have some sort of new beginning here or reopen something, restart something here. 
with you. Well, of course I drop it. Okay, we got the crocodile. So again, um, I feel like this person's watching you, waiting for the right time, is being very patient and strategic with the crocodile here. I feel like this person does not want to make a mistake. I, I just, I'm getting that energy very strongly with the crocodile. It's almost like they'd rather wait and plan so that this goes smoothly. Whatever they're planning. So let's see. Oh, wrong, wrong deck. <laughs> What would this person tell you if they had the chance? Let's get some more insight into their heart space here, what they're thinking. Spirit, what would this person tell Aries if they had the chance right now at this moment? What would this person tell Aries, please, right now at this moment? What would this person tell Aries at this moment in time? What are they thinking or feeling? okay so I have I have changed and you are my happy ending okay I'm starting to think this obstacle is you Aries <laughs> I'm starting to think you are you are what they're trying to strategize it's almost like they're thinking how can they approach you how can they make you listen how can they communicate what they want to say have faith have faith this person's not giving up either you have given up on this connection or this person you feel like this person has given up on this connection i don't think that's the case Bottom of the deck, I have past life connection. Yeah, I feel like there's a very strong connection here. Um, I am getting that very, very um, strongly here. And they, they, for some reason, something happened between you two to cause friction, to cause a separation, to cause a fracture in your in your connection. And it caused a lot of pain. I feel like that's part of this hurdle this person has to overcome. Um, I think also they're trying to convince themselves that this could have a positive outcome. Um, spirit, what are the mutual energies between Aries and this person? What are the mutual energies between Aries and this person, please? For April. 2020 mutual energies please what's going on in this connection tell me what's going on in this connection spirit between aries this person that they are dealing with at this time king of pentacles all right someone stable grounded secure king of pentacles is a good partner um they provide for the, ooh, Eight of Cups Reverse. King of Pentacles provides for the family, is good with finances, is a hard worker, dedicated. He's in a long-term commitment usually. Someone wants to return with Eight of Cups reversed. That's way too many, but Five of Cups just came out. Again, that broken hearted, someone is sad or remorseful. This could be guilt too, this broken heart. Tell me more for this connection. Ace of Swords. Someone wanting to clear the air with the Ace of Swords. What else can you tell me about this connection? Ten of Swords. Wow. Culmination of something. Betrayal, possibly, with the Ten of Swords. Something could have ended badly with the Ten of Swords here. Thank you. Nine of Wands reversed. 
To me, the Knight of Wands reverse is someone who's very um, guarded. I'm sorry, not guarded. Has let down their guard. What? Nine of Wands is guarded. Reverse is someone who's let down their guard. So this could be someone who is wide open now. Willing to hear someone out, possibly. Um, this is also someone who is not is overcoming the exhaustion. Bottom of the deck, I had the Six of Pentacles. So someone here could be wanting to um, balance something out here. Let's clarify these Aries. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Aries, please. For April 2020. Please help me clarify these energies for Aries. In love. April 2020, please. All right, Aries, let's get into this. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Ooh, that was fast. Queen of Cups. This King of Pentacles is in love. Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with or a water sign here. It does not have to be. That's just more than anything. I focus on the quality of or the energy of the card, right? So King of Pentacles, they tend to be someone who, like I said, is good with finances, is stable, grounded energy. Queen of Cups is someone nurturing, loving, balanced emotionally with the Queen of Cups here. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Seven of Swords reversed. Someone here was, something came to light, Some something was found out here seven of swords could also be strategy to me when it's upright so um when it's a uh, reverse it could be that someone it's almost like they were trying to avoid something or trying to avoid failure um and it backfired two of swords so someone here has to make some sort of decision this King of Pentacles has to make a decision about this Queen of Cups. There could be a stalemate between these two. There could be lack of communication. There could be, you know, neither of them wanting to approach the other, neither of them wanting to open up to the other with the uh, Two of Swords here. Two of Swords to me in the traditional tarot, she's crossing her arms over her chest, kind of guarding her heart. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. That Seven of Swords, something came to light with this, these two that possibly caused this separation. The Fool reversed. Someone could have been reckless. Someone could have been naive here. Didn't think things through. It cost them, is what I just heard. I just heard it cost them. Ten of Swords reversed. For me, this is someone overcoming a difficult ending. I feel like someone has healed from this. Either, I, I'm guessing it's this Queen of Cups. And here I have an Eight of Cups reversed. Someone wants to return here. Tell me about this Eight of... Queen of Wands reversed. Another Queen. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups reverse, please. Five of Wands. So there's been um, arguments, fighting. This Queen of Wands is pissed. Possibly that someone's leaving or returning. Could be either or. This Queen of Wands could prevent or try to prevent someone from leaving. Um, but what I'm getting here is someone, someone here has had to overcome some obstacles in order to make a return. Queen of Wands reversed. This is someone who 
doesn't care, you know, about anybody's feelings or the consequences of their actions. They just want what they want. They want to satisfy themselves. This is also my home record card. This is someone who has a short temper. Kind of bossy, attention hog. They they need and crave attention. And with the five of wands, I mean, this is someone that's causing trouble here for this person that wants to um, return to something. Eight of cups reverse. This is someone that wants to come back or cannot leave a situation for some reason. This person's problem, it could be either of those two scenarios. That's why I try not to confuse you, but I'm reading for several different people. So I'm trying to talk about the, the scenarios that I see, and I see this in two ways. Someone here is pissing someone off by trying to leave, and this person's trying to keep them there, or someone's pissed off and causing conflict because someone here is leaving them to go to the past, to return somewhere else. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, look at that, the chariot. This person's like, I'm gone. Could be a cancer that you're dealing with. Or a uh, fire sign here. Yeah, someone here is leaving. And that's pissing someone off. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Someone's not happy. Didn't I have a reading with you several weeks ago? I think the title was Someone's Not Going to Be Happy About This or something like that. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. This is new clarity. Yeah, look at this. Page of Cups. Someone here wants to clear the air, possibly with an apology, with the uh, Page of Cups. Whoa, almost lost those. We have judgment. Yep, someone here has gotten clarity about the decisions that they've made in the past, and I keep getting this for a lot of signs. Judgment is about karma, looking at the past, wanting to have a rebirth, wanting to have some sort of... Um, second chance or a way to make a better judgment calls you know now that you've learned from all of your mistakes you're more prepared to make a different judgment call but look at this 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 card specifically this is someone that's coming back to life here or rising from the ashes having some sort of revival this person i feel is going to tell you that they want to have they, they want to apologize they've gotten new clarity about a situation about a judgment call they made They've learned from their mistakes, blah, blah, blah. What else about this Ace of Swords? What else can you tell me? The Hermit, sign of Virgo. Yeah, this person's going to tell you, I've really thought about it. Um, I This person could be single recently or, or just have been single for a while. Um, I've really thought about it. I'm listening to my, my inner voice, you know, meditating, whatever they're doing. They want to communicate this to you. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Wands. So yes, this is two aces here. Someone wants a new beginning, a fresh start. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. Why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Three of Cups reversed. Whew. There, if this was a third party situation, if it was... There's an ending to this. This is also the opposite of coming together. This could be someone refusing to come together. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. The star reverse sign of Aquarius here. This is someone who um, is trying not to lose faith, trying not to lose hope. Someone here could have lost hope in this connection. It was painful at some point, but or or, or they they feel like it, there's no there's no um, bringing this back. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. What else can you tell me about this Ten of Swords for Aries? Four of Swords reversed. This tells me that someone here um, has done all of the healing that they needed to do. They're ready to wake up and move on. I'm really getting the sense, Aries, some of you are not going to want a reunion here. You feel it's hopeless. 
um, you've healed from this situation, you've ended things in your in your heart or in your mind. Yeah, bottom of the deck, lovers reversed. I think you're done. Tell me about this nine of wands reversed. Ace of swords again. Tell me more about this. Thank you. Knight of swords reversed. Wow. So this to me could mean two things. Hold on, let me get another card before I tell you what I'm seeing. Tell me more about this nine of nine of wands upright, of course. <laughs> nine of wands upright with the nine of wands reverse. So that tells me that someone here is just tired. Someone's tired of this. If it's a back and forth, if it's if it's someone not committing, if it's someone here who doesn't know how to communicate, because to me the Knight of Swords reverse. This is someone who's not on your side, someone who uses words cruelly, like they, they, they say things in a way that all they can do is hurt people with what they say. Um, this is someone who is a little erratic, could be even violent. Um, this also could be someone who's um, delayed. But what I'm seeing is like you... Whoever this is, this nine of wands reverse, which could be you, Aries, or it could be this person. Um, because what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing two scenarios. I'm seeing, again, um, this, this person that you're connecting with, um, they could be approaching you and you're shutting this down. Or this person's in a third party situation and they're shutting that person down. I feel like this person, if that's the case, if they're in a third party situation and they're leaving that person, that person they're with is making things very difficult. That person, he wants to cut that out of his, of his or her life. So this could go those two ways. Um, either you're not accepting this offer because you're exhausted or this person is exhausted of, you know, regarding the person they're with and they want to cut them out completely. Maybe they've been fighting, arguing, words have been said that cannot be taken back. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone's like, over, like they're just feeling so burdened by this. And again, and I'm just going to say it again because I'm reading for several people that are watching this um if 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 you're not willing to take this person back this is you and you're you're like tired of this um you're not interested in coming together you're not interested in a reunion you've healed from this you've let it go um if you are interested in this person the person that you're dealing with um they're exhausted like they can't wait to put this burden down and look and start something new like they can't wait. And I feel like that's what this half faith is possibly alluding to is someone's trying to keep faith in having their happy ending. You know, this person has changed due to all of, all that they've been through. I mean, that's what judgment is all about. Someone recognizing their past mistakes, growing from that, making better choices the next time around so that's what I have for you Aries I'm going to look at where this is headed what are the blockages in this connection what's next for this connection I'm going to pull some romance angels and some other oracle cards as well in the extended so if you're interested in that check out the extended the link will be down below otherwise thank you so much for watching Aries I hope this resonated with some of you if it did, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. If it didn't resonate with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Check back next week for another reading to see if that one resonates or check your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more. 
Um, thanks again to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Please consider liking or subscribing if you enjoy my readings, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.